They've never met the blogger Raif Badawi, and he's never even been to Canada. But for 168 Fridays in a row, the persistent protesters of Sherbrooke, Quebec, have stood under his beaming banner to plead for his freedom from a Saudi jail. And the only thing we can do in Sherbrooke, us people, ordinary, is do, do this on Friday. We hope it's making a difference. Among them, effectively leading them, Badawi's wife, Ensaf, who settled in Sherbrooke as a refugee with her kids five years ago. She and they have become the darlings of Quebec politicians. Mes enfants adapté les gens ici, les villes Sherbrooke, c'est ma ville maintenant. The force of Badawi's story is the motivator. The young man last seen on grainy footage being lashed, 50 at first, then sentenced to a thousand of them and 10 years in jail. And here's the horrible irony. Badawi was arrested for promoting a more modern Saudi Arabia with more liberties for women. And yet that's the very transformation Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman is traveling the world boasting about. So why is Badawi still in jail? That question stalks the Crown Prince. As the Saudi Crown Prince sweeps across Westminster in Whitehall, will she pledge to raise a very specific case concerning the jailed writer Rafe Badawi? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Raised in the British Parliament and in private with the British Prime Minister two weeks ago. It's an honour to have the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia with us. Badawi's case is being raised right now in Washington. The strategy is to bring up the case so often, so forcefully, that the Crown Prince almost needs to release Badawi just to change the conversation. You say you know, you know Former Justice Minister Erwin Kotler is one of Badawi's defenders. I've met with uh, people who will be meeting uh, with him, and uh, the case will be brought up. There's no question about it. Is there any support for this within the White House itself? I believe there may be support within the White House itself. And a hint of news, word that Badawi might be on a list of those eligible to be released, a sort of gift from the royal family. That's the kind of suggestion that is jet fuel for a family whose only connection to Badawi, aside from his face everywhere, is in brief moments when he can call from jail. Everybody really happy. I want to speak, I want to speak with him. Give me the telephone. Everybody's trying to talk to him. Yeah, yeah. I want to show him my, my house, my school. I want to show him uh, the hockey, uh, play with him hockey. Wants that still need to wait, but maybe not for long. So this is a little odd for Canada. Raif Badawi is not a Canadian citizen, so that ties Canada's hands a bit. The Saudis have said through back channels that maybe Canada should stay out of it. But both Erwin Kotler and Badawi's wife really think the Prime Minister should be making a personal appeal. And then if he's released, it's not guaranteed Badawi will come to Canada, but you can bet his family surely wants that.